What's up superheroes? Welcome back to my channel, the place where we make the impossible possible. If you're new here, hi, I'm Scarlett Grace, I'm a manifestation coach and I'm here to help you manifest your heart's desires and a life that's better than your wildest dreams. If you need help manifesting your desire or my personal advice for your situation, coaching is currently open. I also have several self-study courses to help you manifest, including a 21-day course on how to manifest your specific person. And don't forget to download the free meditations I have prepared for you to help you manifest your desires even faster. You will find the links for all of those things in the description below. So today I wanted to talk about something that is very important. Do you think that the law of assumption isn't working for you? Because I keep seeing comments by people under my videos, under other people's videos, all over the internet that say, I tried the law of assumption, it doesn't work for me. I tried manifestation, it just doesn't work for me. Or it doesn't work in general. This is just something created to fool people into thinking they can have anything they want. But it's not actually true. It's not actually real because I tried and tried and it just doesn't work. It works for other people and it doesn't work for me. Here's the thing. It is literally impossible for the law of assumption to not work for you. Literally impossible. In fact, even if you haven't manifested a single thing in your life deliberately, the law of assumption still works and it is still working perfectly for you. And the reason for this is the law of assumption isn't a technique. The law of assumption isn't when you're visualizing the end result that you want. The law of assumption isn't when you're saying your affirmations. The law of assumption isn't when you're scripting. The law of assumption is a law. It works 24-7 from the moment you are born until the day you die. The law of assumption says... That whatever you assume on the inside is what manifests in your physical reality. Whatever you think and feel and focus on is what manifests in your physical reality. Whatever you expect manifests in your physical reality. Whatever is inside you, who you are on the inside, gets reflected in the people and experiences in your physical reality. It has nothing to do with learning techniques. You could be born in some tiny tribe in the jungle that has no contact with Western civilization. People who have never in their lives heard about the law of assumption. You could have been born there and lived your whole life there and died there and never hear about the law of assumption and the law of assumption would still be working perfectly your whole life. Because it is a law, it applies to everybody. Your reality gets created by you whether you have heard about manifesting or not. Whether you have decided to learn about the law of assumption and how to use techniques to manifest what you want or not. You cannot be bad at this because literally this is a feature of reality. This is how you are born. Your whole experience, your whole life consistently gets created through the operation of the law of assumption. This is not a technique so that you can be good or bad at it. It's not like saying, oh, I tried jogging to become fit and lose weight. It didn't work for me. It's not like that because it's not a technique. What you're saying is more like, oh, I tried gravity. Didn't work for me. I cannot land. I keep floating. The law of gravity doesn't work for me. The law of assumption literally always works 100% of the time for every single person on the planet, including you. It's not a matter of whether the law of assumption works. The question is, is it working in your favor or against you? Because it always works. It always manifests your reality based on your assumption. But if you think that the law of assumption is just using a specific technique and you try that technique and it doesn't give you the result that you want, you decide, oh, the law of assumption doesn't work. And what is that? That statement is an assumption. So if you decide the law of assumption doesn't work, or if you decide, hey, it works, I have seen it working for other people, but it doesn't work for me, that's also an assumption. And reality will say yes to it. Because there's no judgment about what you can manifest. You can manifest amazing things for yourself, or you can manifest absolutely terrible things for yourself. Reality doesn't judge. It just reflects your assumptions. So if you decide the law of assumption doesn't work, Guess what? Reality will say yes. I will give you experiences 
where you can prove to yourself again and again that the law of assumption doesn't work. You will try 10 techniques and nothing will give you the results you want because you decided to go from the assumption that the law of assumption doesn't work. If you decide that, oh, I do believe in the law of assumption, I do know that the law of assumption works, I've seen it working for other people, but I can't make it work, it just doesn't work for me for some reason, reality will say yes. I will give you more experiences where you will be sitting back, watching other people using the law of assumption and making it work, and you will never make it work. Because that's what you decided you wanted to experience. And I get that some of you used manifestation techniques to manifest a very specific outcome, a very specific desire, and it hasn't manifested yet. And maybe you have been doing this for a long time and nothing is happening. I get it. I'm not saying that you're lying. I'm not saying that your experience is invalid. This is your experience. But what you need to understand is that the law of assumption isn't only when you're using a specific technique. The law of assumption doesn't just work when you decide to do a visualization. The law of assumption doesn't just work when you decide to do affirmations. The law of assumption works the whole day long, your whole life long, which means if you're using a specific technique to manifest a desire, that's not everything that you need to do in order to make that thing happen. Every moment, every second of the day, we're planting seeds for things to be created in our physical reality. So that technique that you're using, let's say it's affirmations, let's say that you spend 45 minutes per day saying affirmations. That's just 45 minutes out of 24 hours. So if you're saying affirmations for 45 minutes in total during the day, but the rest of the day, everything you're doing, everything you're thinking, all your actions, all your planning, come from a point of view that directly goes against what you want to manifest, this is a whole lot of assumption happening. And this is going to plant seeds to manifest the opposite of what you want, because that's where you're focused on. That's why your self-concept is important. And you need to change it to match the reality that you want to live in. That's where self-talk is important because you talk to yourself in your own head all day long. So if that self-talk goes against what you want to manifest, well, that's 12 or 14 or 16 hours per day, every day, where you're basically automatically assuming things into reality that are not what you want. It's all the complaining you do in your head, all the worrisome thoughts around the manifestation, those are all seeds being planted and your reality will reflect those thoughts. So the 45 minutes of affirmations will not be able to change your reality because it's 45 minutes of affirmations against 16 hours of negative self-talk. That's where living from the end is important because living from the end is not about being delusional. Living from the end is thinking and feeling and acting and making plans and decisions from the perspective of I already have what I want. I'm already loved and in an amazing relationship. What does that mean? That means that I'm not stalking my ex because they're not my ex anymore. We're together and I have no reason to be stalking them online all the time, for example. Or if it's money, that means... I'm not fretting about how I'm going to pay my bills all day long and thinking that I will never have enough money and the system is against me and everybody is against me. Because if that's what you're thinking all day, the law of assumption works perfectly. It just keeps giving you the same old reality that you don't want because that's where your focus is all day long. And that cannot be negated. It cannot be cancelled by the 45 minutes of affirmations that you're doing. It's just 45 minutes. What is that going to do if the rest of the day you keep pouring your energy, your thoughts, your emotions into manifesting that old reality that you hate so much? But this isn't the law of assumption not working. It is working perfectly. This isn't you not being able to use the law of assumption. You're using it perfectly. You're just not using it in your favor. That's what it is. And you know what? You have every right to decide to manifest a reality where you do not control anything, that things seem to happen randomly, things seem to be happening to you, and you have no control over them. Whether they're good or bad, they just happen. If you decide for that to be your assumption that, hey, the law of assumption doesn't work, it's not a thing, only foolish people believe in it, I tried, it didn't work, and the world is random, and things just happen to me, 
and I have no control over them, and I'm a victim of situations, reality will say yes, because it doesn't judge. If this is your assumption, reality will say yes, and it will keep giving you a version of reality where you don't have control, things happen randomly, things happen to you, you are the victim of circumstances, of other people, of the system, of your childhood, of whoever you choose. Go ahead, you can have that. There's no judgment there. Your desires are not under judgment. If that is the kind of reality that you want to live in, you can continue manifesting a reality that looks like that. But if that isn't what you want, if you do want to have control over your reality, if you do want to manifest all the things that you want and stop manifesting the things that you don't want, then you need to take control of your thoughts. Because reality responds to your assumptions and assumptions are the thoughts that you keep thinking. Your beliefs are the thoughts that you keep thinking over and over and over and over. So if you're not manifesting what you want, if you have been using techniques but they haven't been giving you what you want, what you need to do is take control of your thoughts the rest of the day. Decide how you want things to be in a specific situation. Decide how the world gets to work for you and stick with it. Stick to thinking and assuming that this is how reality works. This is how your life is. Because nothing will work until you actually change your thoughts and remain consistent with those changed thoughts and keep thinking them over and over and keep making your new assumptions over and over and over and over until you believe them, until reality shifts to reflect that to you. And when reality starts shifting, even in tiny ways, your focus needs to be on, see, that is confirmation that this is true, that my assumption is true. That is how reality shifts. You make a different assumption, you keep making that different assumption over and over and over and over, every day, all day long, and you focus on the things that prove that this assumption is right. You don't look for proof that things aren't changing. You don't look for proof that things are remaining the same. You don't look for proof that this isn't working. Because if you focus on the proof that it isn't working, where is your focus? The focus is on the situation that you don't want to have. So if your focus is on the situation that you don't want to have, on all the proof that things are terrible for a specific area of life, that is what you're going to keep manifesting, even if your affirmations say otherwise. If your inner conversations and the conversations you have on the outside with other people and your self-talk are basically a version of, let me tell you what's wrong with this, that's what you're going to manifest, things being wrong. And then you can go and pile 10 different manifestation techniques on top of that, and it's not going to work. Because 10 techniques are going to do nothing to negate the fact that the whole day you're focused on what is going wrong instead of what is going right. The law of assumption always, always works. So if you keep getting something in your reality that you hate, that you don't want, it is a guarantee that it exists somewhere in your thoughts and in your assumptions. Change those thoughts, change those assumptions, and reality will change for you. I hope this video helped clear things up for you. If it did, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon because I put out new videos every Sunday to help you manifest an amazing life.